Hi friends! I want to talk today a little bit about yarns in warm climates or just warm weather for where you're at. I live in a warm climate. It is 90 degrees or higher, four to seven months a year where I'm at. And I want to be able to wear, or at least show off, my knits and crochet year round. And something I found, well, let me cotton bamboo is what I'm talking about today, but I have been using the Lion brand, which these are both Lion brand, the 24-7 cotton. I really like this yarn. This is one of the nicer all cotton yarns I've tried. It's not what I would call ultra soft, but it's wearable, it's easy to work with, it washes up like a drain, and after you wash it, it feels like some well-worn jeans. For instance, piece de resistance. My cotton poncho that I made, which you may have seen me working on in the how to find the right crochet hook video. That's this. And even though this is a little bit heavy, it's a large piece. Uh, I'll post a picture somewhere up here. Um, I'm not hot in 90 degrees when I wear this, so if I want to wear it with a tank top and some jeans or leggings, I'm perfectly comfortable but still covered if I need to go somewhere that I can't just wear tank top shorts and flip flops. It's nice to take if you're going into a movie and it gets a little chilly. I've worn it at home. The air conditioning gets a little cool. I have long haired cats and they get hot easily so I keep my home cool for them as well. So if you notice with this, I have washed this in wool light. It drapes fine, nothing exceptional. The finish is fairly flat like cotton is. No disrespect to this yarn. However, there's something else. I have been working with this cotton bamboo from the LB collection for about a month now. I'm making a tunic with it and it's wonderful. It is whisper light. Oops, I'm caught a little bit here. It's whisper light like a butterfly wing, and it almost feels like silk fiber. It's 52% cotton and 48% bamboo. And bamboo feels a little bit papery, as you would expect from a tree. And when I've seen it with other yarns, or blended rather with other yarns, they're doing that because this just is, it needs the structure of another fiber. So you might see it blended with wool, maybe to keep the wool from being so heavy, and blended with cotton to keep it cool and to give it some more structure. The cons with this though, you see I'm not wearing jewelry, rings can catch in this, as can the less, I don't want to be mean about this, but a lesser quality hook. This is not a Furls Crochet hook, which I'm not sponsored by them, but using that really nice quality metal going through a fiber that isn't quite as smooth as some of the other yarns, it's going to take some time and let me show you what happens. So I work pretty fast, but occasionally, let's see, something will slip by me and there will be a little bit of a fray or rather, I wouldn't say a fray per se, but the yarn can come a little bit unraveled as you're working it. And if you frog this to restart again, that's when you're gonna start running into incidents of it happening. There's a little one right there, can you see? Right here, where it's come just a bit unraveled. So the, yeah, it's the ply. And another thing, which this can happen with any knit or crochet wear, but again, with the big cats that I have, they're not inclined to put their big claws out from their big feet, but let's not tempt fate because that will pull this very easily. So this is gonna be a more delicate item when you get done making it. I would not make a blanket out of this at all. And probably not a scarf because with the wrapping it around and the tying it and all that, that's going to be tempting fate also. But something like this, a tunic that I'm doing with it, and I'll just put it on, wear it, go about my day or event, whatever I'm, I'm wearing it to or for, it's perfectly fine for that. I think um, this was a great thing to make with this yarn. Also, I want to demonstrate the drape or contrast the two. 
See how nice this kind of moves around? As compared to the poncho. This has the drape of jeans. Again, nothing wrong with that. Perfectly sturdy. This will last me the rest of my life. I have no doubt of that. Things that I make with the bamboo yarn, maybe not the rest of my life, maybe a decade. Oops. My hook is holding up the machine here. All right. Perfectly fine. Delicious. Look at that. You see the difference? One could argue the weave, but you know, I think this has a much better drape. And it's half as heavy. I'm not exaggerating. It's half as heavy as this. I could put it on a scale, and maybe I'll do that in another video if we want to get technical. But let's look at the size difference. This is a three weight. I really should get a furls hook that I can use with this weight. And where's my end? I'm going to make a tank top out of this one. Let's look at the difference in how they move. See how this just is so light? This more structured? You know, depending on the project you're making, this would be great for things around the house, you know, coasters, washcloths, things of that nature. You can't do that with this. Well, you could, but I wouldn't advise it. Plus, it's not cost effective to use this. I get these on sale. I believe they're retailing for $6.99. I'll double check. I'll put a link below how to find this one. And this is always going on sale, and I bought several um, at the last sale Lion had. So I have pink, some yellow I'm working with. I actually just made a dishcloth with this one. I love working with the cotton uh, dishcloths. Do you have some yourself? Oh, fabulous. All right, so that's uh, my opinion with this today. Let me make sure I did not miss anything I wanted to say. I have notes. I came prepared to this video. Oh, the colors. The colors. Actually, you can see them again when I link below, but they're just slightly faded like you would find a color wash over wood, like wicker, um, straw hats, things like that. When you see them painted, colored, tinted, they're just slightly off of the true brightness that they, the color normally is. Uh, so it's a slightly faded pink, slightly faded green. I believe there's a yellow. I know there's orange. I'm getting the orange next to make um, something else. I haven't decided what yet, but another summer garment for sure. Uh, Lion Brand, the LB collection, it's my understanding that they're limited. So if you want to try it, I would get it soon, just in case. Better safe than sorry, right? Let me know if you've used this and your pros and cons with it too. I'd love to hear it. I'd like to know what other people are making, what they love, and what they're working with. See you next time.